Hello guys and welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me the new Opel Mocha 2021 model and in this video I will make the full test drive uh, and I will give you my feedback on how is to drive this car, the suspension, the comfort, the visibility and all the, the things about driving you will find out in this video. Also if you're new on my channel just don't forget to subscribe if you want to see also the full review I will have another video on my channel with a full review interior exterior all the detail you will find it about this car in the other video because in this video it's all about driving it's a great city crossover SUV I should say uh, with a lot of great technologies new features uh, it's it's modern it has a beautiful beautiful shape and I like it very much also by the way guys if you are from Switzerland uh, check out at Gallica Auto I will leave the link in the description if you want to test the car because right now in Switzerland there are only two cars two Opel Mocha in Switzerland so if you want to check out uh, go at Gallicor garage and uh, ask them test it see the car because it's really interesting it's also built on on the same platform as Peugeot uh, build their their cars and it's a really really good it comes with some features from Peugeot for example um, this key it's also shared with Peugeot uh, and not only that but even the platform and even some great features I will make a round uh, the car so you can see a little bit better the design and the shape I think it's a pretty futuristic car with plenty of great features and really modern I mean they didn't keep any any piece from the from the past from the classic so I mean if you see this car for the first time you will never think it's an Opel so they don't keep the grill they don't keep anything from from the from the Opel classic cars maybe only the logo is the only thing that remind uh, remind you a little bit of uh, which car it is but other than that it's incredible and I like it I like the shape I like the modern look and also it has plenty of great great uh, quality in the interior of the car uh, enough with the talking guys let me give you some technical details I have right here also the price by the way for you uh, ready so you can get it with a petrol engine or you can get it with a diesel engine the petrol engine is 1.2 liters something that we have right here but you can get it with diesel 1.5 liter we will come later this year I will review it as well so stay close to the channel and I have it here also uh, I have it with me the 8 speed automatic transmission it's really good I really recommend you to go with it but you can get it also with a six-speed manual transmission uh, depend on you uh, it's your choice it is the GS line this is not the full option you, you have another version that calls ultimate but still on this one you have plenty of great features and we will talk about that as we go in a car uh, 1.2 liter petrol engine 130 horsepower 230 newton meters eight speed automatic transmission consumption around 5.8 liters the price the basis price of this car without any option 31,200 francs also it comes with all those options as standard android auto apple carplay all that features the car come with also you have right here the uh, pack park go and you will have to pay 850 francs but i totally recommend you to go with this pack because you have right here blind spot technology you have the autopilot you have uh, the reverse camera you have that adaptive cruise control and yeah whatever the navigation uh, navi pro pure 1500 for the navigation this is the 10 inch navigation system is the same one as the Peugeot use at least look at the uh, look at the map It's the same map as uh, you will find it also on the Peugeot uh, we will talk about that also in the review guys not in this video I don't want to go too much into detail you will have also the heating uh, seats 250 you have to pay extra and uh, matrix LED I really recommend you to go with it even if it's 1000 go for it it looks really good now the final price with all those options will be 36,800 francs amazing price in my opinion and you have a discount 1400 here at Gallica Auto check them out guys uh, and then the final price 35,328 uh, this car it's a brand new car 500 kilometers is not and it looks just beautiful for for a city SUV like that with a lot of technology I think 
uh, this money totally, totally deserve. 18 inch rims, by the way, we will drive it right now and they look super nice. Ventilated brake discs in the front. You have McPherson uh, independent suspension in the front with anti-roll bar in the back. You have semi-independent suspension. You have this brake disc, so no drums and stuff like that, uh, but they look really good. They fit really good with the red glossy plastic here. The roof spoiler look nice and sportier. You have nice letters in the back, mocha. Beautiful design, beautiful. And also the LED, everything it's LED here in the car. Even in the front, even the, the number plate number, it's LED and even in the front, Look at this, full LED, high bin, low bin, everything. Beautiful modern design, in my opinion, look gorgeous. I mean, this grill, it looks like an electric car. You don't even know uh, if it's the electric version or not. I mean, it looks very similar. You have some air intakes here that help the aerodynamic. Here is the air intakes, actually the grill for, the, for cooling down the engine. The radar is down here. Uh, and other than that, nice design. Okay guys, enough with design, enough with talking about the car. In the interior, it comes also with those kind of sporty seats. As you say, it's a combination between sporty and comfort seats. Uh, they are fabric material. These come with Isofix for child seat in the front, two Isofix in the back. Something that I love very much on this uh, new model is the fact that this center console look gorgeous. Electronic handbrake, shift by wire transmission finally here love it love it park manual uh, drive mode from here you change the driving mode i will talk about that lane assist and then you have plenty of storage space there to charge your phone wireless usb climatic system automatic and i love the way they designed this dashboard it looks a little bit like volkswagen uh, golf and polo the new one and i love it i love this glossy plastic the way they combine the dash is just I'm a big fan, I like it. It's a big step forward, soft material everywhere. The steering wheel, it's classic from Opel, good quality leather, great grip, and yeah, and aluminum pedals. Okay guys, enough with the talking, let's drive it. All right guys, let's drive the car. All I have to do, go close to the car and it will unlock the, the doors for me because it comes with keyless entrance, also electronic folding mirrors. Uh, going inside, what I noticed before when I drive it is that it's very silent inside here. So they did quite a good job with the sound insulation from the exterior. Also, I like the seats. They are quite comfortable. They are not super wide, bright, but are, are okay. They are okay. They are comfortable. Uh, they are fabric material, but you feel good in them. Also, you have some side support if you want to drive it sporty. Then all you have to do, because you have these aluminum pedals that are super nice, press the start engine button that it's here behind um, I like very much the way they position the the multimedia and the cockpit right here is the same as you will find it on the Volkswagen the new Volkswagen Golf 8 or Volkswagen Polo the last one I love very much the the way they design it the um, multimedia system is through the driver the big huge cockpit right here in the front give you all the information uh, it has quite nice colors and resolution and it's it's perfect you have also the navigation right there on your screen uh, the steering wheel it's nice and feel great as you grip the car good visibility blind spot technology in the mirrors also here you have quite a big mirror so you have good visibility in the back no problem um, the shift by wire transmission is right here. You can change the gear super easy. If you go in reverse, you can see you have this reverse camera. It's the same as Peugeot use it. Not amazing uh, resolution and quality, but once you want to park it, for example, like this, you look at this. You have those lines that help you, guide you to park the car without any problem. So you can see, you can park it no problem i mean it, it's quite good camera not the best but good also if you go in drive you are in drive also you can go in m you can change the gears from here manually from those pedals behind the steering wheel so it's great to have this as an option going back in drive right now you're in drive and you drive you have different driving modes let me show you that you have for example from here you can change the driving modes eco mode normal and sport mode we will drive in eco mode that's great that you have this option so um i love the modern design of the dash that's that's something that i like very much first of all when i go inside here i notice another thing that i notice when i start driving it is that it's very easy to, to drive the the steering wheel it's very soft 
uh, right now in eco mode it's incredible soft the steering wheel uh, visibility is very good around the windows the windshield it's a little bit smaller than usually uh, but it's okay the visibility is quite okay maybe a little bit of blind spot in the corners here where you have this big speaker the same as you find it on the the new uh, Peugeot models uh, you will have the speaker on the a pillar a little bit outside they try to make it more interesting but suspension are really really uh fine i mean i like them i like the way you feel the suspension at uh small bumps they feel really good so in terms of suspension i like them i like them i like the comfort inside the car uh also the pedals are incredible smooth and nice and uh opal I think step up the game a little bit it feels much better driving this mocha than than the previous opal cars also the steering it's responsive and nice um and even look at this i have 15 kilometers right now and i don't even feel it here it's a super bad road by the way under right here in this area until a little bit forward it's really bad so you can hear a little bit of noise but it's because of the road not because of the car you will see a little bit later but overall even on this kind of bad road the suspension feel quite good i can i can feel already a little bit of higher quality um, that this collaboration with peugeot stellantis bring to this opal mocha and opal um, cars are much more quality and yeah i'm impressed with the dashboard you have soft material everywhere on the dash you have this nice glossy red uh plastic on the dash the vents look nice position it really good the pedals are smooth and nice i like the pedals very much and also the steering wheel control it's great um yeah i should say it's quite good now let's try let's change the driving mode i like also how easy it is to to access those button and to change different uh, functions here let's go in normal mode in normal mode the steering wheel it's it's the same similar but I can feel already the acceleration it's a little bit more aggressive if I slow down you can feel a little bit punchy and if I go in sport mode if I slow down a little bit in sport mode it should be even more aggressive right now yes it's changed the gears a little bit later in in sport mode you don't feel that big of a change between those modes i mean it's not big difference the steering it's a little bit stiffer i should say but not big difference i think i think the only things that that the, those driving modes change is the acceleration the chain the chain the gear changing the rpm right now you can see it hold in in higher rpm and yeah and and the, the steering wheel a little bit in eco mode it's much more comfy and i like yes in, in eco mode it's a little bit more comfy it feels more soft and nice um yeah pretty nice pretty nice but i don't know it's not super sporty car at least this 1.2 liter three cylinders in line engine 130 horsepower is not a super sporty car i guess it's more like a comfortable car like a city crossover safe pretty safe car uh, with great uh, visibility i like very much the the shape of the hood the way you can see it from inside the car you can see the hood shape there it feels like a sporty car pretty aggressively also you have the cruise control guys you can set it from here let me show you you can set also the distance from you and the car in front and you can also set the the speed and the distance from you and the car in in front right there the lane assist yes just like that you can set the speed from here go to yeah anyway pretty cool pretty cool the cruise control is quite classic i think it's the same one as the previous it's worked the same also it's very similar with what peugeot cars have it have and if 
you want to set it you have to you have to hold it somehow like that I don't know 65 yeah we will test it when I go back let's turn it around here I like the steering the steering it's easy to use it's easy to take the curves um, great visibility in terms of visibility in the mirrors um, it's it's very good also the suspension are super comfy right now we take those uh, potholes and bumps here and we have some bad road here let's test it out yes it feels pretty good pretty comfortable in terms of comfort is good and I like very much also the fact that they improved the the sound inside the car the sound it's really good it's really quiet inside the car also the turning radius it's impressively good and you can turn the car into small space I think it has around 9 meter 9.5 meter turning radius um, you can already feel that is doing a great job right now we are in sport sport mode and if you want to accelerate it comes also with star stop engine uh, system also lane assist and all that stuff you can activate it from here yeah, it's pretty <laughs> I set the speed limiter and that way the car was stopping let's try it again when we go back uh, without that stop limiter but anyway I think it's around nine seconds um, zero to 100 I like very much how easy it is to change these gears from here the gear shifter this uh, shift by wire transmission is quite nice also it's super easy to to see in the camera you have uh, four parking sensors in the back four in the front and it comes with six sensors two are for the blind spot technology by the way also let's try again ah, pretty nice pretty nice interesting let's go in echo mode again Also, you can change if you, you can choose to change the gears manually if you go here ma'am you can go in first second third and you can change the gears the way you want it so um, that's also an option and you can go back in D mode just like just by pressing one more time the, the M button you go back in D mode echo mode let's go back to echo so so silent smooth and nice in echo mode is the way I I like to drive um, also you have very good visibility here on the screen also you have these shortcut buttons to go in different functions here on the multimedia system as I said before it's the same multimedia system as you find it on um, Peugeot cars great visibility in the front on the cockpit right there also let's try again this um, cruise control guys right now you have a button here for the lane assist you can activate it from here and then once you set up the speed let me set it to 80 because you have to drive 80 here on this road and set it to 80 set up the, the autopilot I should say can see right there uh, steering wheel in green on the on the cockpit and right now the car it's keeping the lane and also it's keeping the speed look at this it's doing a pretty good job to be honest at least on the highway it say put your hands on the steering wheel I put the hands and then take the control again it showed me that green steering wheel in the middle there so that mean you're ready to to it's take the control of the car you can see also the navigation in the middle there for example if you set a destination let me set this destination it will actually show you right now it's also driving itself yeah 
let's go here if you set a destination guys it will show you also on the screen the way it looks uh, how many kilometers you have uh, you have until there and I like very much the cockpit it's one of my favorite feature it looks it's so big and so clear and you can see everything there also it's very easy to control the cruise control and those functions from here you can down let's go down to 60 55 and it's so down automatically and right now I have to take the control yes it's, it's quite good to be honest it's it's quite okay it's not as good as you find it in in um, other cars for example i test the last i test the last days uh, the new skoda enyaq electric and it was much better the the travel assist from volkswagen for example it's it's a little bit better um, it feels nicer it's easier to to use and it's doing a better job but this is also good on the highway it's doing a super super job if you're driving on the highway and or in the traffic when you go home from work it's just it should be just fine I should say uh, it will help you a lot and I totally recommend you to get it of course the price guys of that travel assist from Volkswagen it's it's bigger much bigger than this one in, in Opel Mocha but yeah depend what you want uh, in my opinion in terms of driving and feeling and comfort and quality uh, this Opel Mocha it's it's a big improvement from what uh, Opel was before uh, in the previous years so uh, Opel with this collaboration with uh, Stellantis is, is, is step up the game even more and this transmission by the way the eight I didn't say nothing about the transmission I tell you right now the transmission it's a blessed for this car it's really good it's really good I mean it's changing the gear super smooth and super nice at least right now in eco mode it's doing such a good job very smooth very very good I like the car. I like also the the high driving position. I feel like I'm tall on the road. Um, yeah, you, you you quite feel a little bit of SUVs, like an SUV here. Also, the brakes are very very responsive. The pedals actually, I tell you that. Wow. And, but in this roundabout, this is what impressed me the most, most the roundabouts and when I take this roundabout, it feels so comfy, it has a, a special feeling added to this direction. I don't know how to explain you. It feels fun, I think if you go in the, on the mountainside and you go left right, it will be really fun, at least for the driver, <laughs> I don't know, for, me, for how many people because some people are sick of those uh, roads but for the driver should be fun very very good uh, very good car for the price it's it's incredible good I, I think you you should go test it if you are on the market for a car in this class you should definitely go and test it and see uh, if it fits your needs, but the way it takes the curves, the way you can control the car, it's incredible good. And the way you can park the car, for example, here, if I park the car here, let's go back just like that. If I want to park it here, you can see there in the cameras, it's kind of map up the ground for me a little bit. I can see also in the mirrors very good in the mirrors you have very good visibility and then you park the car in just no seconds in no second you park it electronic handbrake park push the park and now you're park it uh, and also the start engine um, work really good so right now you can see it's stopped anyway guys that was the test drive i think you get some useful information from the test i, I hope you get some useful information from the test drive um as a conclusion i should say that i think um 
Opal did a great job with this mocha. It's a big improvement, as I said in the video uh, as well. Big improvement from the previous versions. Um, I like very much the comfort. This is this is one of the things that I like it. It's really comfortable being here. The suspension feel comfy. The gear box, it's gorgeous. Steering wheel, it's also very good quality. It feels nice. It's easy to, to control these cruise control uh, buttons. You have the option to, to change manual, so it's great. I like very much also the the placement on of the, the cockpit and the, the multimedia system. They are really through the driver, for the driver, and it's easy to see things, easy to access things from here. Uh, at least this huge digital cockpit, it's nice, and it's nice integrated here with the other one. Very similar with what Volkswagen do with their cars, but it's nice, I don't mind. Uh, to see that other than that the seats are really comfy you have some side support you sit really well here you have the climatic system that work right now and it works really good uh, with those vents it's the air go through the to the driver inside the cabin the sound insulation was really good I, I noticed that it's good the sound I don't hear too much noise from outside uh, and also not so much noise from the car from wind noise I noticed that it's quite good plenty of soft material on the doors uh, down here on the doors you have this leather on the dashboard so overall um, yeah, it's doing quite a good job you have also heating seats and yeah I like it guys I like the car to be honest I like it what can I say I hope you enjoyed guys I hope it was useful if you have question and you want to ask me anything just ask me down below maybe I forget something if you want to see the full review with this new Opel Mocha check out on my channel there you find the material quality the space in the trunk uh, all the features here inside the car and also my opinion and technical details everything you will find that uh, in, in the full review also I wait your comments and your feedbacks uh, check out or website sdadancar.com there you find all the the technical details about the cars and articles and from auto industry also if you want to buy the car check out at caliker garage in switzerland i will leave the link in the description so you can check them out uh, if you want to test drive or see the car uh music link in the description thank you very much as always i really appreciate that you're watching my video uh thank you guys also, uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to see the new uh, videos that will come on my channel. And until next time, stay safe and see you soon, guys.